blood cancers can be lymphomas, leukemias, multiple myelomas in general terms. And leukemias can affect the patient's blood counts. Lymphomas usually will cause patients to have some effects on their body like fevers, chills, or enlarged lymph nodes. And multiple myeloma is a cancer that causes weakness of the bones or it can affect the kidneys or cause patients to have low counts or confusion, which initially brings them to the attention of the physician. There's different forms of leukemias. Acute leukemias that, that usually happen quickly and don't have a long lag period versus chronic leukemias that sometimes can go on for many years and go unrecognized for a period of time before they get recognized. It's more common for the kids to have acute leukemia, especially acute lymphoblastic leukemias. The children might have bruises or bleeding from their gums or feel, feeling lethargic. Or sometimes um, children can have infections and further blood work will show that they have abnormal populations in their blood. In terms of the chronic leukemias, majority of them will be seen in adults. Those are chronic lymphocytic leukemia or chronic myeloid leukemias. So lymphomas are generally cancers of the lymph glands and we classify them into two categories. One is called Hodgkin's lymphoma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So non-Hodgkin's lymphoma are a type of cancer that involves the lymph glands in the body. And lymph glands are normal in everybody's body. In lymphoma, the lymph nodes don't shrink back to the normal size after the the inciting event is gone. So the lymphatic system is, is part of our immune system and it works like a filter in the body to help clean out any noxious agents that might have come into the body and, and prevent you from getting sick. So you can think of bone marrow as a factory where all the blood cells are being made. So the, in the bone marrow are primitive cells called stem cells that lead to the manufacture, that manufacture three main types of cells that circulate in our blood. That's the red blood cells that help carry the oxygen, the white blood cells that help fight off infections, and platelets are the cells that help you clot when you bleed from somewhere. And all of those cells are made inside of the bone marrow and the end product is what we see circulating in our blood vessels. Once we determine that a patient is, is going to benefit from a stem cell transplant or a bone marrow transplant, we, we, there's two ways of doing the transplant. When we use patients' own stem cells, those stem cells need to be harvested. The patients then get high-dose chemotherapy and those cells are put back into the patient so that they can have normal blood counts. Whereas in the other kind of transplant where we use somebody else's stem cells called the allogenic stem cell transplant, we have to find a match for the patient and then we use the, the stem cells from the matched donor and infuse it into the patient after giving them chemotherapy or radiation and that gives them a new immune system. So the cancer, the differences between the cancer and the new immune system is what keeps the cancer in check and, and the new immune system is able to get rid of the cancer cells. So I have a patient who presented to her physician for a regular healthcare maintenance checkup and was noted to have slightly low blood counts, lower than normal and she was referred to one of her colleagues in the community um, and did a bone marrow biopsy. And she was found to have a disease process called myelodysplastic syndrome, which sometimes can be a precursor to somebody developing acute myeloid leukemia. I ended up going to my primary care physician and they did some blood work and fortunately found some abnormal blood cells. I say fortunately because I feel they caught it early. And then I was referred to Carmanos. Hi Maureen. Hi, Dr. How are you Dean. doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. As we were working her towards a stem cell transplant, uh, her bone marrow biopsy that was repeated showed that she had actually progressed into acute myeloid leukemia. She went through chemotherapy. Uh, we were able to get her into remission from her leukemia. In the meantime, we found that one of her brothers was a match for her and she went through a bone marrow stem cell transplant and is in remission from her disease and has been taken off all the immune suppressive medications and is doing well. I'm um, one year, eight months and counting.